guys, I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Fasum Kijin and today we're back with you for Bleach, A Thousand Year Blood Wars, part 2, episode 4. Last episode, the Shinigamis fought back. We got a way to, to get our Bankais back, mm -hmm. uh, thanks to Urahara, who forced Kurutsuchi <laughs> to work with them. And uh, it's been working, it's been kick-ass, we saw Shinji's Bankai, that was pretty cool. Um, and we looked like we were winning, but the Quinchis have been preparing for years and years and they had a plan in case we got our Bankais back. And it looks like they're about to unleash their own sort of Bankai. And I am a bit afraid. We were on a roll and considering it's only episode 4 of this part, it could change. Uh, we can never win. We need to survive this. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But at least now we can fight back a little. And I'm happy about this. So let's jump in this episode and uh, see how we manage. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these episodes and check out our Patreon for the full length reactions. Alright, let's go! Okay. It looks cool, <laughs> but it's against us. Shit. Mm. <laughs> They've been hanging out just eating food. <laughs> oh boy. No, 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 don't do this. <laughs> this battle is not gonna end quickly. <laughs> Shinji, my man, it's the first time you, you show us your bunkai. You can't be defeated that easily. <laughs> They do call themselves holy, the light. So they gave themselves wings. They have wings, but they're not angels. Ah, oh, shit! You cut him off! Ah, oh, no, 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 no! Can you reverse your wounds? Fuck! Ah, right, come on, my man. Oh, come on, you. Let's go. It's a rematch. Careful. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not your level. <laughs> well, maybe. It's like he knows it's what's gonna happen before it happens. He sees it coming and he's like, nah. <laughs> His hand is human? Was it always? I don't think so. I've seen a doggy hand, a uh, doggy paw before. Is that why he's wearing a helmet again? <laughs> is, is it in his uh, ultimate form? I don't know. Yeah. Holy shit! Holy shit! Okay! How? I mean, he looks hot. Holy shit! Okay! Jinka technique. But does he die from this? I hope not. The things they were willing to do to just win this. <gasps> yeah, he's giving his life for them. What the fudge? Uh, as sad as it was, killing Yamamoto was like the biggest mistake they could have made early in this war. It fueled their anger. Interesting that he went from hiding his dog face to hiding his human face. Oh, let's go! Make it worth it. If you're gonna, gonna die from this, make it worth it. <laughs> it's about to kick you in the face. <laughs> but that bitch. Come and find out. <laughs> 
<笑>あ、いや、ずっとバンクに。その鎧を脱ぎ捨て、抜き出しとなった姿。思考の術で倒すことはできん。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Okay. Kind of how he also gave his life. What's left is just raw power. Yeah, but his possessor is dead. He's gonna die. He's not alive. He doesn't give a shit. Yeah, doesn't have a heart. What's left is raw power. ためのうつわにすぎる。ひじつ人家の術と真の像を I love him. I never truly cared for him, but now I love him. Uh, kill her. Fuck yeah. I don't know if she's dead, but fuck yeah. Yeah. Don't make me cry. Bitch. <laughs> Is it the end? Holy oh, shit! I think so! Bye! I mean, even if she survives this, I'll consider that she's been beaten. And now he's just- he can go straight for him, he's immortal! Although I don't- I'm not pretty sure he's not gonna defeat Big Boss. But how long does it take for him to just go back to his, uh, previous form? Oh. Yeah, he's immortal, but it's on borrowed time. Fuck! He's, that's why he was going towards uh, Hiwak, straight up. He didn't have time. Bitch, don't fucking smile. We're losing another one! ちゃんと解いた。不思議じゃという like maybe not die, but never gonna be the same again. Oh no, that's worse. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Fuck yeah. Oh. <laughs> Fuck man. Things change, okay? Circumstances change. No one can fault him for wanting revenge. Street kind of gave himself up for that, but like, it was necessary, it was needed. I guess now he understands those in a, lo a little more. Yeah. It hurts me to see him go towards those we struggled so much to defeat and just bringing them to safety. Oh, she's still alive. Shut up. They're gonna make fun of her. <laughs> I could see them just straight up killing her. Mm. 
なり動いたね霊視を奪えるんだっけ霊視をこちら側から徐々に奪い薄くした、うん、時間がかかった素晴らしい術だ<笑> Beside being splendid I mean 光栄ですと言っておきましょうですが I have multiple levels of barriers 削るのに時間がかかったのなら壁を作る時間があったということ We too I'm not been just standing here doing nothing 脆いということは罠があるということだ仕方ない取らせてもらう Come on! We need at least a couple of people to be okay. Jikan ka. Hey, ka ga omachi da. Shitsure sir. Omodori wa ichoro da e? Kudare ba sugu ni de. Dobikiri no cha o irete machi to sugu. Kaomi, let's have break. Uh, let's break. We're best friends. We're best friends. We're best friends now. Sugu e baka atsu datta na. Lei atsu ga futa tsu kie da. Kono mura taichou da. Kuto! Misa! Nanda ano gaki? <laughs> A second win from that guy? <laughs> They're living their movie. I can't go on anymore. But I love you! Oh god, I can, I can do this all day. Hey, <laughs> mister! So we need to get rid of him. That's his own weakness. <laughs> Ouch. But like, what happened to everyone else who had a cross beam of light? Oh, we still need to see his bunkai. Come on. Reinforcements coming from above. Benji, Rukia, is it our guys? Coming in like freaking stars. Yakuya too needs to come back. Yes. Oh fuck! Nah, I think he beat you because of that. Shit! Who is it? Hey, okay. <laughs> fuck off! I I do want to see his bunkai though. Too. Challenge accepted. Yeah, let's do this. Next episode, part three of Ichigo walks towards something. Walking on the path of life. I'm not complaining. Oh, it's a lot, man. It's literally everything. The history of the world. Uh, he said something about a test and he said something about a vessel. I don't like this. <laughs> the power of the, of the king? So he wants him to be a vessel for the king. I mean, <laughs> but then, like, okay. Hang in there, buddy. Don't explode, please. I think he did. <laughs> you need a shirt. Huh? Okay, next part of the training for him. What other shirt training? <laughs> In any case, they did say, we'll talk quickly about Ichigo because he's right there. Um, so, we've said it before, but Rukia, Renji, Byakuya, they came here to be healed, trained, sent back. Mm -hmm. They said Ichigo was here for another reason. They mentioned something about a test. They mentioned something about a vessel. Now he's just said, you're feeling the, the weight of the world, of, of the history of the world, of everything. Everyone's thoughts, everyone's memories. I mean, when you, everything. Th when you tell me vessel, Two things come in mind. One, are you able to just receive that amount of power to defeat your enemy? Or two, take my place. Like, you're, yeah. you're, you're gonna be the next one. Are you worthy of being yeah. the next one? So you're thinking either he's gonna be as powerful as the Soul King, or it's literally, we are about to choose. Like, I don't know what's going on with the actual Soul King. Soul King. Like, is he dying? Is he, like, is he actually, maybe he's dead already? Like, we don't know. But it looks like they might need a replacement and they're testing Ichigo to see if he's capable of withstanding 
all the power, all the stuff that's gonna come with the title. I mean, is it is it what it's gonna take to defeat Ewok? I don't know, but is it what it's whether gonna or takes? not whether or not it's necessary? Why I don't like this for one big reason. We already saw that you know it's been said. We don't know if Ichigo is gonna be able to come back to to his world. Our world. Because of what they're doing up there. Mm -hmm. And for sure, if he becomes Soul King, there's no way he comes back, right? And that's a big sacrifice, and he doesn't seem to be aware that that's what's going on. So they're not asking for his opinion. That's manipulation. And uh, they're taking advantage of the fact that he doesn't understand. I and mean, I don't like that. Ishigo doesn't read the, the footprint at, nope, the, he never at, does. at the bottom of the page. <laughs> There's no lying about this, though. I have read, I said it before, I have read the last chapter, so I do know how it ends. But the whole plan, like the whole way they're doing this, the whole way they're sending him towards this fate, and they're not telling him what it entails. For, for Ichigo right now, all he thinks it's, you know, he's, he's, he's thinking he's getting power to defeat Ewok. I don't even know if they would send him back to fight Ewok. They don't, I don't think they care. Like, the whole Squad Zero... Their purpose is to take care of the Soul King. Mm -hmm. The Soul King takes care of the world, right? He yeah. keeps the realm separated or whatever. It's like, at this point, they don't really give a shit what's going on in Soul Society. They already said, like, oh, well, we didn't come down to they help you. They don't give a shit how many needs to die. No, because that's not... they take action. Because that's not their job. They said before, like, when Soifan was pissed and she was saying like why didn't you come and help they were saying you did your job we did our job their job is to take care of the soul king if the soul king is dead or dying they're going to focus on replacing him mm -hmm. so ichigo's purpose right now is to go down and help his friends so he's, he wants the power necessary to to mm -hmm. save everyone but they don't care so that's why i'm thinking like this is a whole manipulation thing that's happening they're steering him towards becoming strong enough to maybe stay here and they're not focus on that completely honest with him no and it sucks because like <laughs> let's say he goes through with this he would just realize one one day like wait what i can't go back to my family i can't go back to my friends like you just stripped me of all of that like you <laughs> stripped me of, of and like let's say he gets there what happens because every time we see the soul king it doesn't look good Right at the end of, of the ending, we see um, a shape without arms, without legs, stuck in a kind of block of crystal. I don't know. Torso. Basically. So like, is he even conscious? Is he even aware of what's going on? Like, is he just a blob of power that's being used for the sake of humanity? I don't want him to go to be that. <laughs> <laughs> being a blob, and I don't want him to be that and have no choice in in what's happening to him. Have no say. So. Currently, I am, like, I liked the Squad Zero that helped us, like, all the all those Shinigamis or previous Shinigamis that helped us. I like what they did. I like what they gave us. I don't like where this is going, though. I'm, I'm starting to uh, reconsider my opinion of these guys. <laughs> Although, I, I will say, I think it's Ruki and Renji who came back. Came back. Like, the two comets who came back from... I mean, the sky is our Squad two, Zero. Our two shining stars. Up there is where they are. It's the palace, so... Mm. And they've been training. What about Byakuya? Where is he? Well, I only saw two lights. So maybe Byakuya is one of them. And Rukia and Renji are two. Uh, are the other. Because they were in separate places. Maybe. Like Byakuya didn't need the whole training. <laughs> Byakuya is a, a, sh a star on his own. <laughs> yeah. So at least they sent them back. And they helped them get stronger. So, okay. I, uh, we said something about how they don't focus on Ewok and the problem. But they did focus on the problem. Because they took Byakuya, Renji, and Rukia. I mean, they did say that they wanted to reform the God 813. Well, no, but it's been destroyed. It's been destroyed, so they need to reform it and ma uh, make it stronger. Make them, make some of them strong enough. So to at I, least I wouldn't be surprised if at the end of it, Renji and Rukia are going to become captains. Well, they were trained by the strongest, so yeah. And we are in desperate need of power <laughs> in soul society. Yeah, but uh, I'm thinking it's them. Um, it's there's no other, you know, answer to this. So I'm excited because in the opening, we kind of see scenes of, of fights that are going to happen. Some of them already did. And uh, one is Rukia facing mm. against one of the Quinchis. I uh, <laughs> can't wait for that one. Yes, you've been in love with, with well, not in love, but you've been um, a fan of Rukia for a I while. I love and... seeing her being badass. And most of the time, she can't. So when she, get, when she does, it's awesome. And you've been expecting her bunkai for, for a oh, long time. I know. 
I do know that we're going to see our Bankai someday in this arc. I don't someday. <laughs> someday in this arc. I don't, we... I don't know when. I don't know how. Well, but how, how gonna... Bankai! <laughs> but we're going to see it. And I can't wait for this. I'm thinking it might be the, way, the moment where she uses the thing. The fire extinguisher? Kind of, yeah. It kind of looks like snow, right? <laughs> Imagine. It is our Bankai. <laughs> the fire extinguisher. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But it's gonna be cool and we need them. Uh, although, I will say, from the looks of it, this fight is currently at a standstill, right? It's equal, equally as strong. What happened to the other beams of light? I don't know. We only saw Komamura and, and the girl, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what's her name again? Fuck, I forgot. Her, Bam baby. Bambi, 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 thank you. Bambi. Bambi. Her, and uh, yeah. And... It was amazing. We'll get to him in a minute, but we it, saw her and her wings, but everyone else like kind of got rid of them. At least two of the girls got rid of them. And what happened to the others? They just didn't fight? No, it no not all of them are out of commission though. So we, have, mean, we have a fight with one, like the- pre the Pretty much all of them are being Ubered by, <laughs> uh, those, uh, by Ishida. Ishida. <laughs> those that are too weak right now, those that are uh, hurt, who can't fight anymore. Yeah, those who can't fight anymore. Thank you. English today. Not all of them are gone, like the Luther and the Luther. 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 In French, sorry. Uh, yeah, the catch guy. The, the guy with the, 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 the ding ding. Round three, let's go. Well, mm -hmm. he's about to fight two captains, so that's going to be interesting. But, and who else is left? I don't know. Komomura did get rid of Bambi like a champion. I can't believe that he's dead. Well, is he? Uh, the no, way I understood dead. it. No, the way I understood it. He's just turned into a, a an animal, a straight up like wolf without a conscience, without anything. He's no, just... is, is, is he dead like a like a uh, just a f wild beast? Like he's not. He won't be dead as a human or a uh, conscious beast. What, I mean, he's dead. He can. He understood that as long as he stayed in a human form, he was going to be immortal. But and as soon as he you turned know, back beast, he's going to be dead. Yeah, that's that's what I understood. But then after that, he got surprised, and, and he, he was saying something about how. Like his fate was to be turned into a no, mindless I mean, it's beast. Not, it's not even he has no a, heart anymore. It's so. not even a humanoid dog anymore. He's just, just a wild wolf. He's just he died as a beast. Well, he, whether or not which, which sucks. I didn't know for sure. I thought he was gonna die, and then I didn't. I I wasn't sure because he kind of got surprised, and and maybe it's just the way he transformed that surprised him because he was he, he thought he was just gonna go back to what he was before, and but he no, it's just, so just a wild dog, like a dog that you. Well, no Kill matter. In the street. No matter. He is dead, whether it's just mentally or physically or both. But he is dead, and he gave everything for his revenge. Which is yes, it is interesting considering what he went through with Tozen and what he told them back in the day. How he was throwing his life away for revenge, and he, well, he, he I mean, he was a pacifist, same. right? He was saying something about how like violence wasn't uh, the way to go, and he needed to stay calm and, and mm -hmm. stuff. Now knowing his clan was a clan of revenge and anger and all of that, he kind of went back to his roots for the sake of soul society. I feel sad that he kind of betrayed his, uh, you know, his way of thinking doing that. But I can't be mad or, you know, I can't blame him for doing that because it was necessary. Those Quinchies have been preparing for a thousand years. Mm -hmm. They are fucking strong. And if we don't get strong too, it's the end of soul society. So I guess, yes, it's revenge for Yamamoto. But beyond that, it's also like, okay, his reason for doing that <laughs> was revenge. Mm -hmm. But beyond revenge, it's also him giving his life for the sake of those he cares about. Right, Yamamoto did that not for revenge. He did that because it was his job, because he it was expected of him, and because his people, the Shinigamis, needed him to be strong and be willing to give his life. I don't think he expected to die, <laughs> but <laughs> if he, he, he didn't expect it, but he was prepared for it. Byakuya, I think, said it best. You know, whenever you go, you get into a fight, you expect it to be the possible outcome, right? They all know that it's a possibility. It's part of the job. And Yamamoto did it. And if he does it and you respect Yamamoto, then mm -hmm. I expect all of them to, to be willing to do the same. Mm -hmm. So it might have been fueled by revenge, but he didn't lose himself for nothing, right? He did what was expected of him. He saved people, he got rid of one of the Quinchis who was a fucking psychopath. <laughs> What I think is really sad is that he went back to being a mindless beast. You know, he was already, at the beginning, he was already ashamed of, of what he was. And he, he hid behind his bucket armor. And 
it took him a while to find the courage to show himself the way he was and Tozen helped him and then he was betrayed by Tozen <laughs> but still like he <laughs> yeah. went through a lot of, of growth with that mm -hmm. and for him to go back to to this and yeah. for this to be the punishment I, I felt was was worse than death just death but it was done for a good, for a reason I believe is justified. But at least his vice captain or his uh, comrade are still there with him. Well, that's the thing. Like he took him on his back and he was saying, like you did nothing wrong, right? Because like he, he knows, like they all know how he's thinking, and and now they see what he's become, and the fact that he's saying you did nothing wrong. It's just it's what I'm trying to say, right? No matter how much guilt he's feeling or he felt in the end, no matter how much he despised what he was becoming or you know what he gave up or the way he turned, other Shinigamis are looking at him and are saying, "Nope, we respect you. We, we you know what we, you, what you did was right. Nothing or I mean, if it wasn't right, it wasn't wrong, right? You did what you did, and it's okay. So you can go in peace, knowing that none none of us are judging you. None of us are are, mm. are looking at you and and thinking less of you because of what you are now. And the fact that he's a mindless beast, who you know a thing that, considering his past, he could look at himself and and be ashamed. Like oh, I I can't think for myself. I can't, you know, I can act like a human. I'm not. I'm not who I used to be, I'm less, but the others are still holding him, carrying him, and seeing like, no, we don't, you you're know. You're still our Taicho. <laughs> yes, we're still, still our calling him. You're still our captain. Still calling him captain and being like, let's go together defeat Ewok, right? Because they still value him. It doesn't erase everything he's been through, everything he is. It's just, it's a choice he made for the greater good of soul society, and they respect him for that. So I like that. It sucks for him, but I like that at least the others are not going to judge him or look at him differently. And that's cool. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. If you want to see the next episode right away, it is on Patreon already. You can check it out. The link is in the description below. And if you don't, the next one will be on YouTube next week. Yes. See you then, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.